to say each of the millions of people here on the National Mall will have at least one cell phone with them. My producer and I have six between the two of us. With that many devices in such a small space, the phone companies are preparing for 10 to 15 times more traffic on their network. So what is all this data and how is it going to help you prepare yeah. for Inauguration Day? You bet. So you're sitting at the heart of the, the ER for the wireless network, if you will, for Sprint Nexto. Uh, this is a at a glance uh, at the national level. Uh, you know, we're very color code centric, right? You know, red is bad, uh, yellow is major, green is good, right? So this is a very at a glance national view. More specifically in this area is a, an actual uh, view from the switch out to the cell site where we can actually uh, manipulate remotely and do some triage and restoration to the actual cell sites, right? And we can manipulate this view in any way we see fit. Okay, tell me a little bit more about the concentration in the D.C. area for inauguration. Sure, so we're a, what you call a national control center, so we're kind of a, a view into everything. We also have some folks on the ground. We have remote uh, uh, war locations, we call them war rooms, where additional resources are on standby to kind of be extra eyes, just to make sure that uh, the, the fine-tuning and preparation we've done over the last week is really uh, put us ahead of uh, competition and setting us up for success no matter what we're presented with throughout the activity. So what can users expect? Reliable data but just slower? I would, yeah, I would anticipate as the crowd gets larger you may have some uh, experience some slower data speeds. Yes. And then with your calls you may have some delay in the call going through. You can retry your call and along with text message if you do experience a delay, retry your text message. They'll, you know, we queue those up and they will be delivered. When you use your phone on Capitol Hill, the call will be routed through one of these mobile cellular towers that's attached to the satellite truck that we're sitting on right now. So this vehicle right here, this is actually a Sat Colt. It's a satellite cell and light truck, and it's a mobile cell tower. So it's on an F-650 chassis. We can drive it anywhere that it needs to go. It has a generator, it's fully self-contained, and also satellite redundancy. So what we're able to do is we're able to bring this type of vehicle in, park it, push a couple of buttons, the tower will raise to about 65 feet, the dish will turn around, and then we can actually bring it on air as, a, as an actual cell site. We brought this vehicle in for support of the inauguration because not only did it bring the additional coverage and capacity, the additional highway lanes, if you would, uh, for the cell phone traffic to, to drive on, uh, but it also has a satellite dish to bring redundancy. So that allows us, if the local telco or telephone carriers go down, or if there's not a T1 available, we can shoot to a satellite and actually bring down a, a satellite T1 and power this vehicle. It would still be an operational cell site if there were to be an event or something were to happen to the local infrastructure. If there was a large infrastructure outage somewhere in D.C., maybe at our switching operations, we we're able to reroute those calls throughout the switching operations. We have a, a war room, if you would, of our network personnel who will be manning it 24 by 7. So there's, there's a lot of flexibility with these types of vehicles if there are major impacts or, or infrastructure impacts.